Good morning. Um, I have had, whoop, I have had a lot of tenant emails and owner emails and just um, people who have moved here um, and don't know about hurricane season reaching out to me, um, asking questions, what should they do? How can they prepare? Um, just kind of general, like, what is what is hurricane season entail, right? So I just thought I'd make a real quick video, hopefully quick-ish, um, about hurricane season. So um, a little background, I have lived here five years, I believe, on the coast. Um, we've had a handful of decent hurricanes. Um, I was pregnant for both of the bigger ones, of course. Um, and then last year, we had the biggest one that I've gone through, which was Hurricane Zeta, which we're actually still recovering from. Um, I just finished out a couple of fences um, a few months ago, actually. So um, hurricane season is pretty serious down here. I mean, not always do we have a huge one hit, um, but, you know, at least once a year, probably there's one that causes flooding, causes a little bit of damage at least. So I just wanted to go over some things that you guys can be doing to prepare yourself, whether you're an owner of a home, um, you rent a home, selling a home, anything about um, having a home, living in a home, or living on the coast. So feel free to ask any questions. I'll be trying to read the comments if I get any, um, but also I'm just going to go over some things that I had written down and questions that I've gotten so far. So step one, um, it is important for you to get a, um, a to-go kit ready. So if you are going to evacuate, have things that you're going to need on a car ride and things that you may not um, be able to come back for, such as birth certificates, passports, wallets, IDs, um, any of your important paperwork. Like my husband and I have a big um, Ziploc bag of our wills, our um, home insurance, our home um, owner's paperwork, like from when we purchased our house, our land paperwork from when we purchased our land, um, just anything that's important, our kids, um, all of our insurance policy, our kids' birth certificates, our birth certificates, marriage certificates, all of the paperwork that we could ever need just in case we for some reason have to leave and we don't get to come back or we come back and everything is damaged because you just never know you'd rather be prepared for the worst and you know have to not have to use it so um have all of your important paperwork in a ziploc bag or something double ziploc bag it whatever put it in something that's waterproof and have it easily accessible that way if you are coming home and you just have to go whatever the case is you want to have it ready um, we have a bag as well. So Brady used to be in the military. He's got one of those military bags packed full of um, our important paperwork, um, some snacks, some like non-perishable items, um, clothes for everyone just in case, you know, a couple days worth of clothes, just the grab bag, the, um, pardon me, oh shit, we have to go, you know, very quickly just grab whatever we can and go. Um, you want to have food and snacks. I have a three-year-old and a six-month-old. Um, food and snacks are very important. Um, you know, even if I don't get to eat for a couple days, they need to be able to eat. So um, in more ways than one. Um, have a lot of water bottles, water jugs, things like that. Have that somewhere that is easily accessible so that either you have it if you need it quickly and you have to go or you have it if the power goes out and, you know, you can't necessarily find them. Hey! Um, so have snacks, food, water, gas. Gas is one thing. So um, especially when you start to see like there's a storm in the Gulf Coast, um, there's a storm approaching, bad weather, whatever. Um, I say this, I don't practice this, but try to keep your gas at minimum above um, half a tank. Um, but especially during, um, you know, a storm, like, a Hey, there's a storm warning, storm watch, whatever, try and keep it above three fourths tank just because you don't know if you're going to have to leave. Um, take pictures of everything. So I do believe there's an insurance gentleman watching me. Um, I'm sure he can vouch for this. Take pictures of all of your belongings, whether you rent, um, or rather you own, take pictures of the house, take pictures of your stuff, um, particularly the most expensive stuff or the more expensive stuff. Um, just make sure that you picture and have documents of everything. I use an app, I think it's called Photo Stamp, and it actually puts the date and time of the photo on the um, the picture. That way, if there are any questions with insurance, you can say, hey, this, uh, this was taken on whatever date, which was before the storm, it was clearly in our house, um, things like that. Um, before you leave, if you're leaving, or just before you hunker down if you're staying, um, you want to make sure that everything is secure outside. So... 
Y'all, we had our window taken out last year because, pardon me, somebody was a freaking idiot and they didn't take in their um, table, their glass table just rolled into our window. So in the middle of this hurricane slash tornado, we're getting hit and all of a sudden a window breaks up in, okay? One of my neighbors didn't put up their um, lawn furniture and stuff. So put that stuff away, bring it in the house, put it in the garage, strap it down, whatever it is that you need to do. Um, because you might not have to worry about it damaging your house, but it could damage someone else's house. And quite frankly, that's super inconsiderate. So um, put your stuff away that's outside. If you can, any of the lighter swing sets, um, like the little, the tinier ones, the like Fisher Price stuff, try and bring that stuff in. Kids toys, dog toys, anything that could like fly around. Um, you know, if you have a trampoline, if you know that there's going to be a bigger storm hitting, try to disassemble it. Again, easier said than done, but bring as much stuff in as you can. Sometimes our kitchen looks like uh, hell, like a disaster before a storm because we bring in all of the lawn chairs and stuff. But I'd rather be safe than sorry and have, you know, a cluster in my kitchen than, you know, damage to my windows and things like that. So um, make sure that your insurance policy is up to date. So if you, um, well, you should have homeowner's insurance or renter's insurance, call and make sure that your insurance policies are up to date. Um, just to double check if you're renting with me or you purchased with me, chances are you are good, um, but just double check, make sure everything's in place, make sure your payments have been paid. And then also, um, if you aren't aware, um, if you have renter's insurance and some owners, homeowner's insurance policies, check with your agent. I'm not an agent um, for homeowners, but check with them and see, sometimes they cover things such as like, if your power goes out and your fridge is spoiled, they will cover that. So take pictures of things like that and then also see if that's covered by your insurance if that's important to you guys. Um, homeowners of rental properties. Um, this was huge last year. Um, so let's just say that worst comes to worst and a storm hits. Um, I live here on the coast. So if I haven't evacuated, I'm also on the coast. Um, I have as much access as anyone else does. Like Last year, we couldn't leave our house for, I think it was two days because the trees and things were in the way. We didn't have a lot of internet. We had no power. Um, so just keep in mind, I will respond as quickly as I can, truly as quickly as I can, but that's not always immediate. I'm a freak, I hate notifications, but when it's in between, my phone is, you know, dad dying, trying to charge. I've got two kids at home too. Um, you know, I have to make sure that I'm okay first so that I can help you guys. So keep in mind, I will respond as soon as I can. Um, but it does get really difficult when people bombard me with emails. I will respond, I promise. Um, just keep in mind, you know, if a natural disaster hits, it, it may take a little bit extra. Um, feel free to check in before um, this. So right now is the perfect time to check in with me if there are any special instructions that you have for your home, such as, hey, if you press this level, lever, it actually does this, or hey, we have a little system um, so that you can hook up your generator, things like that. Let me know about those things. It will help your house, it will help your tenants, things like that, um, special directions, anything like that. Um, response time, I just kind of mentioned and touched on this, but my response time for tenants, for t owners, it may be delayed. I do not like that, I hate that. I'm, I'm a notification person. Um, and I try to respond as quick as I can, but I just may not be able to get to it right away. Um, again, there's you no, know, the power could be out, the Wi-Fi could be out, um, cellular could be down, we've experienced that. So I will respond as soon as I am physically able to, I promise, just bear with me because I will get bombarded with calls and emails. So um, tenants, if you, um, if we get hit by a hurricane or even if it, we have a bad storm, shoot me an email clearly stating the issue. The more um, description that you can have in there and the pictures, that helps immensely. You can either email it directly or go on your tenant web access um, and you can submit a request. Um, I will have to triage these things. So what I do is I write down and I get the order of things. So someone with a hole in the roof is going to be more important than someone who has their fence down. And I want you guys to know everyone will get taken care of but it takes time and everyone here is affected. So just like last year, we'll get out there as soon as we can, but sometimes it's physically impossible to get people. Remember, we have to be able to get out of our homes so that we can help your home. So please keep in mind, we will do everything we can and be as quick as we can, um, but things may be delayed. The more clear you are, the more pictures you have, 
um, all of that helps. So um, in general, you know, feel free to ask me any questions, um, but just keep in mind if we do get hit with a hurricane or a bad storm, natural disaster, um, I will respond as soon as I can, um, but it may be delayed. Um, just bear with us, you know, we need to make sure everyone's taken care of and also know, um, and I, I, I say this as kind as I can, sending me email after email and calling after calling doesn't help. I'm checking everything that I can and I'm getting to it in the order of importance. Um, everyone, you know, feels that their issues are important and they are, but there are just some things that have to be addressed first. So please bear with me, please be patient. And if you have any questions, please just let me know. I'm very happy to help. So um, feel free to email them to me, text them to me, whichever works best for you. Um, and then just know, you know, we're all in the same boat. You know, I'm, I'm here too. So chances are I've not evacuated, depending. Um, so anyway, we're all in this together. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful.